Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to 66 Conversations with MAPS Coaches. This morning, I am joined by Mike Hillary. Mike, thanks for being with us. Definitely appreciate you joining the challenge. Tell everyone who's watching a little bit about yourself. Yeah, and so I am a MAPS technology coach. I'm also the regional tech trainer for the Mid-American region based out of Chicago, Illinois. Awesome. And Mike, I know in both of those roles, you oftentimes work with team leaders. And so this is a little bit of a leadership objection coming from a role where a TL says, you know, I can't, I struggle to recruit people who have done more production than I have. Maybe they don't seem valid or those types of objections. How are you typically handling or having conversations around that objection? How much of your time are you spending selling your brokerage? And how much of your time are you spending consulting the person in front of you and building that relationship? See, when you sell, there's a very hard ceiling on the value you can provide. When you consult, you're helping them find more time, more money, the right leverage, the right opportunities. And so by building up your expertise in what you have to offer, as arrows in your quiver, you can spend the time asking the questions and finding out where their pain points are, and you can address them, even if you've never sold a house in your life. So sometimes it's really just, it's about asking the right questions. Is that fair? Yeah, it is all about asking the question that gets them to move that much forward. If there were one or two top questions that you would recommend a TL have in that sort of conversation, what do you think those would be? What are you avoiding in your business right now that is a project that you know needs to be done? Hmm. I like it. That'll usually give you some insight as to whether this is a systems issue, a people issue, a tool issue, any of the things that we can help answer using our six consulting conversations. So you don't necessarily need to have that level of production that the person across the table from you is having in order to find out more about their business and then give them a solution from that point. Yeah, you may already have this training class happening in your calendar or on the region's calendar or a tool they can find on Connect or somebody you can connect them with. Let me ask you this, Mike, because you and I know each other well. Is it safe to say that you've consulted in your role as MAPS coach in RTT Are we at hundreds, maybe even thousands of agents at this point? You've been doing it for a couple of years. Uh, Mm -hmm. Ballpark, how many agents have you consulted into building bigger businesses? Um, So if I look specifically at the last 12 months, we're at about 140 teams that combined have closed about $2.6 billion in sales volume combined. So you have helped $2.6 billion producers combined build and lead bigger businesses. For those that don't know, how many homes have you sold in your career, Mike? Uh, I've never held a real estate license. Just one great example. So for those of you out there, leadership who say, you know what, I'm just a little bit nervous about making that call, having that conversation, sitting across the table from that agent who has more production than I do. Mike's a fantastic example. It's just about the right questions at the right time. Stop selling start consulting. Mike, great feedback, great conversation. Anything else that you would add kind of in closing? You know, continue to study up on your resources. It's amazing how many things I keep finding, rereading through the MREA, through the shift book, even though I've been through the MREA 32 times at this point and shift 10. I swear Gary and Jay keep sneaking in material in my printed books. That wasn't in the copy I read last time. Yeah, that wasn't there. Yeah, that wasn't Missed that a lot. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Well, Mike, thank you very much. Guys, thanks for tuning in today. Come back tomorrow for a new conversation with a new MAPS coach. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Outside of that, have a fantastic day.